Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Photo Focus. And in this video, what we're going to do is going to make a very simple triptych. And we're going to use a paste in command that you may not be familiar with. So let's jump in and see how it's done. So here I am, I've got Bridge open at the moment and I've got three images that I want to add to my document. So let's open those up, I'm going to highlight them all and then right click and say open. There we go. And they're going to open up in Photoshop. Of course, that's the default imaging package. Okay, let's go and make our document file and new. And I'm in the UK, so I'll like to use A4. Click OK on that. And I want to turn it around just a little bit. So we're going to rotate it by 90 degrees. There we go, already. Okay, now what I want is three equal columns nicely spaced out. Now, if you're using Photoshop CS6 or earlier, then you're gonna have to use the new guide and do all the maths. You might need the ruler up for that. So while we're talking about that, Control or Command R, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm in centimeters because that's how I prefer to work. So there we go, I just right click and choose centimeters. Get rid of the ruler again. Because I'm using CC, it means I can come down to New Guide Layout. And when you get the guide layout to start with, you're going to get up something like this, which is great if you're using eight columns to make a website or something like that. But of course, we want to make a triptych. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these around a little bit. Now, of course, we need three columns. So I'm going to make sure columns is ticked there. And then we're going to go number three. So we've got our three columns. Now our gutter here, that's the distance between the different columns. And I want that to be a little bit bigger, maybe 0.5 of a centimeter. Good. But I don't want all my images to go right to the edge or right to the top and the bottom. So we're gonna need a margin. And I'm gonna put maybe, let's go for 0.5 all the way around as well. I'm just using tab to go from one to the other. And there we go. I've got it all labeled out exactly as I want it. Now I can save this should I wish. All I've got to do is come up to the preset here, click on the downward arrow and save it. You can see that I've already done that. I've already got a triptych waiting for me there. Okay, I'm gonna click OK. Now we need to get those images into our document. This really couldn't be any easier. I'm gonna make sure that I've got snap turned on and then I'm gonna to go to my marquee tool and I get the rectangular marquee and I can just draw a marquee just in that little area there. That's where I want my image. Let's go find the image that we want on the left, which is going to be, let's go for this one. Now I want to select it all, select all. You can see that Control or Command A would select all and I'll do that in future. And then we're gonna copy it. So edit and copy, Control or Command C, and I'll do that in future. And then go back. And now I want to go to edit, and I want to paste special and paste into. And when I do that, over in the layers panel, you can see that I've got my image and I've got a mask that duplicates that rectangular marquee that I laid out before. Now the image is far too big for this image. So what I can do is I can click on that. Now, unlike other masks, when you first make them, there's no link between the mask and the layer. So I can just make sure that that's selected. Control or Command T to transform. I'm gonna hold down shift just to make sure everything stays in proportion and pop this the way I want it. There we go. Let's do something along those lines. There we go, that looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna click the tick. And there we go, that's our first one in place. Let's make another marquee, maybe in the middle this time. And then I'm gonna go and find my image, control A, control C. And then I could also use the keyboard shortcut of Shift, Alt, Command, and V. That's Shift, Option, and Command, or Control on the PC. Basically everything on the left hand and V to paste into. Control T to transform, and away we go. As easy as this. Really quick and easy. I'm using the Alt key there to uh, make my transformation from the middle. Okay, click the tick. And then final one, which I'm gonna guess is this one, A, C. And then let's make our marquee. There we go. And Shift, Alt, Command, and V. Control T. And very quickly we can get into a real good rhythm. Once you get the keyboard shortcut sorted out, 
into a really easy rhythm of doing that. Okay, there we go. Click the tick. I'm going to press Ctrl or Command 0 to fit it on screen, and then use the Command minus just to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I've got all those lines still on there. I can't really see what I'm doing properly, so I'm going to press Ctrl or Command H to hide those. They are still there. I can do that again to bring them back. I'm going to hide those just for now. I'm going to define these a little bit better. Double click over here in the layers panel. And I'm going to add just a little stroke there. I'm going to make it black. And then on the inside, four pixels is a little bit too much, I think, for this one. Three, two, let's go three. Click OK. So I've got my stroke. I can put other layer effects in there, of course, a drop shadow, whatever I want it to be. And then I can go and right click on there and copy those, copy layer styles, and then highlight both of these using the shift key and paste the layer styles. And there we go. Everything now is put together nicely. Okay, so I've done a triptych using this technique, but you can do any shapes, any sizes, including heart shapes, circles, whatever it may be, and do this as a nice little artboard if you wish to. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna close this all down. I'm gonna bring up another little pattern that I've got, and I'm gonna use that. Okay, so this time what I've done is I've got some text. It's just basically black text that I've put on. I've reshaped each letter individually. You can see they're each on individual letters. I've already done the S and the E, so let's do the A. All I've got to do is press Control or Command on my keyboard, hover over the T there, and you can see I get this dotted square. It means I'm gonna select what's black or the darkest pixels. I'm gonna click on that, and there you go. We've got the A there selected. I come over, find my image, all copy, and then back, and again, just paste into place. There we go, and Control T to resize it should I wish. There we go, and we'll take that up nicely. There we go, all right. I can add some layer styles to this as well. So let's go in there and double click, make a nice little stroke on that, and let's add a drop shadow on here, because we can, there we go. All right, so this could be holiday images or all kinds of things. This time I'm gonna press the Alt key and drag that FX up, and you'll see then that it's copying those as well. So there we go, we've made a triptych and using exactly the same technique, we've also stylized some text. I'm Eric Reno, this has been a video for Photo Focus. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.